Hey guys, Jason Creel here at the GIE Plus Expo, here with Andy Walters. Some of you may recognize him. He was on our uh, Monday Night Live show we did a few weeks ago, but now I'm here on, more on their turf with their equipment. And what we're gonna look at is the, the Z-Turf spray equipment today. So I, I can get out here and talk uneducatedly about it, but I thought, let me get somebody that knows these machines inside and out. And so we're gonna go down the line here. We got three machines we're gonna look at and uh, Andy's gonna tell us some of the details of space. Hopefully, if you're into weed control or thinking about getting into it or looking at new machines, this will help you understand what type of machine to get for your specific situation. Let's get started right now. All right, first up, and this is the one I'm actually familiar with because this is the one I drive, but Andy, tell us about this machine, the, the uh, 36 inch LTS. Yep, so we call this the LTS, which stands for lean to steer because the machine is as simple as turning your handle back and forth for your steering, and it's all hydrostatic, forward and reverse, so very easy to operate. Um, one of the reasons a person might choose this model machine, um, it's gonna fit in three foot gate. It's very low center of gravity, so it does very well on hills. I don't know if you can pan out and see how low the machine is. The tank, engine, everything's very low, does great on hills. This can also be carried on a rack behind a pickup truck. So there's some companies that make the slide in receivers. You can mount this right on the back of your truck. Easy way to haul this around, especially if you're in a tight area where a trailer is sometimes difficult. All right, what about, tell me about the spray uh, tank on it. What size tank is it? What kind of spray system? And yep. what so kind we, of volume are we talking we've about? We've got a 20 gallon tank. And in the 20 gallon tank, we actually have two pumps. We have one pump that's dedicated just for agitation. And so we can suspend wettable powders, uh, keep the agitation up. This 20 gallon tank, the way they're set up from the factory is it'll do about a third of a gallon. So you'd get about 60,000 square feet out of that tank. You know, again, that depends on what mix rate you want to do. You can also change tips and you really can get the machine to do whatever you want as so, far as liquid. And then on the, and I'm, I'm going to get you to explain this. But, yep. So if I want to adjust how much you're saying, uh, depending on what kind of volume I want to do, I can adjust that sure. uh, using our controls here. So pressure is going to be uh, indicated right here on this screen. So you could set the machine at 30, 40, 45 PSI, 50, wherever you'd like. You can go up and down with that pressure. It took the place of the handheld regulator. The On the granular side, we can turn up the spread width or we can turn the spread width down. Same way, it'll show us digitally on this side and it shows you in percentage. So, um, really easy to run machine. Guys get it on these and uh, you know figure them out within a day, uh, have real good results. And I can speak for that for myself. I've got one of these and it, it definitely the way it handles. But let me ask you this, Andy, as far as the agitation, um, when, I know you can turn, flip this up and it'll agitate while you're just sitting here. When it, when you're spraying, is it agitating also or is it, I, and I'm asking because I don't know the answer. Yes, you're still getting constant agitation in the pump with the agitation lever off. Uh, your next nozzle is going to be your trim nozzle. It's just spraying four foot wide. And then when you spray the uh, full nozzle, you're getting a full nine feet wide. Okay. And so I, I like this machine because it you know, handles pretty good on hills and then also the ability, like smaller properties, if, you, if you're needing to fit through gates or you just got a lot of small properties, um, then it would be a good machine for that. But I want to move over and talk about a bigger because I know uh, the popularity of these large machines seems to continue to be, gro to be growing and um, if you're really trying to knock out production, I know and, and people that just may not even just having large properties but also just knocking out tons of production in one day, um, a lot of them are going with these type of machines. So let me get a distance view and then we'll talk about this. So this is, um, I know you this got different model, Z spray, so yeah. tell me about the difference. So this model we call the ZS5260. So what all the numbers mean on the machine is it's 52 inches wide, it holds 60 gallons. Okay. So as far as production goes, this is our largest machine, but it has 30, 30 gallon tanks. Um, you can run right side or left side, so you could run two different products, or you could run all of them at one time. Okay. So you're sucking from both tanks, returning to both tanks. Uh, what makes this machine so productive is it has a 10 foot spray width, 
and with 60 gallons on board, you can do about four acres an hour uh, with this machine pretty easily, but it's you're getting four acres just on one fill up. But is, so, it, is this the mid one, the big one, the this little one? This one's the big one. This so, one's our biggest, right. what we call the max, but also known as the 5260. All right, and what's the other size? Is so one? the next step down from this would be called the mid, and it's the 4630. 46 inches wide, 30 gallons, so it has two 15 gallon tanks. And then down from that, we have what's called the ZS3624. 36 inches wide, 24 gallons. It's got a 12 on either side, so that's gonna be for those guys who need to get in the gate as well. This big guy, um, it's gonna be for your large residentials, big commercial properties. Um, can can get a lot of production done with one of the big units. Yeah, I got some, a couple of friends that got these. They told me uh, it, sometimes when they're out spreading granulars, you know, it's, it's just trying to get enough product on the trailer to keep up with the machine for that day because you really uh, yes. do it, you know, if you especially if you had any kind of uh, large property or even sports turf or something like that, you know, you could cover it football fields would, would be ideal in a situation like this. Yes, you're right. Some of the larger commercial companies, they'll actually carry two skids of fertilizer just to keep the machine busy that day and a couple hundred uh, gallon nurse tank to refill. But the hopper is a 220 pound hopper. Um, so you can put four bags in the hopper, plus you can put two bags in the rear trunks. This one's set up with some isolated tanks on it, but you can spread 25 feet wide and go eight mile an hour at ground speed. So you can get a lot of uh, product spread. And tell me about, as far as the control panel, I, you know, what, and again, I'm familiar, more familiar with the other one, but how, what's the same, what's different as far as how this one drives and the controls? So one of the things that we pride ourselves on is calibration. So uh, there's three things you need to know to calibrate a machine and it's speed, pressure, and then what size tip are you running? So you can see on the machine here, it's got a lot of information, voltage of the machine, temperature, uh, time of day. This machine's traveled 0.83 miles, but really what we need is speed and pressure. And then we've got a chart that is on the back of our knee pad that we can just flip over. And this machine, when they come from the factory, we normally run these lavender tips and we keep all the part numbers there so you can order different tips if you'd like. But at 40 PSI, if you drove at five miles an hour, you would put out 14.9 gallons of water per acre, or that's equivalent to, in gallons per thousand square feet, a third of a gallon. So you're saying a lot there yeah. with all that, but to make the machine simpler, um, all we have to do is we know we need to go five miles an hour. This machine would go eight all the way forward, yeah. eight and a half, it's hydrostatic. So you can take the speed bar here and if you kind of pretend we're driving here, Jason, oh, we're 4.8, 4.9, 5 miles an hour. Oh, okay, I now you. we can lock the speed bar down. It only goes 5 miles an hour at that point. We'd set our pressure with our regulator to 40 PSI. We can have all our booms on. That's your left section of your boom, your center and your right. So we'd be 10 foot wide. And at that point, all we have to do is hit the button on the switch on the dashboard or we could use the foot button for hands-free. A lot of guys like that for spot spraying because oh, wow. all they've got to do is hit that button and it's going to spray instantly and it's going to let off. Oh, wow. That's if you're on a big cool. property, a guy might run it from here. Yeah, okay. Well, that's really cool. I, I haven't uh, seen it, but I know I get people ask me all the time, like, how much uh, how much chemical do I put in my tank? And it's like, you, you know, I know you flipped that over and there was a lot of information, but that's really the information you need to know to know how much chemical to put in the tank. If you don't know how fast you're going or how much water volume you're covering, it, then it's hard to know. You know, yeah. how much killed so yeah and, and then the hose or oh, go ahead you yeah well the other thing i was going to mention with the kind of combined with spray system you're in the south so hard to see your tire tracks um i live up in indiana we mow four inches tall we can see our tire tracks real easy the foam marker while I, we were playing with these switches made me think of it we've got a foam marker set up on this machine so when you turn your spray system on you're turning your foam marker on i don't know if you can hear it uh, but that's running the foam marker and what that's going to do is it'll drop foam right off the end of your boom so you'll see little 
basically uh, look like you. shaving cream piles all through the lawn and you'll be able to see exactly where you spray. And that dissolves pretty quickly after you go, you're not talking about something that's gonna stay around. It doesn't stay around long. Uh, some of the ag soap stays around a little bit longer, but most people just use something like a Dawn soap yeah. and water. My friend, he's got one of these. He told me that the, the uh, foam marking kit is a game changer for him. Cause like you said, we can't see our tracks. It's not like mowing grass, but my, my one thing I've, had a hard time with in the past is trying to figure out and i'm asking you is like you know in the we have bermuda grass and i'm convinced that us southerners deal with more weeds than than the cool season grass so like i need to get really close to the shrubs without getting it on the shrubs so does this thing yeah does it come like does the, the spray stop here or nope or, okay. so it, it's coming out and okay. so if you were running a foam marker the way a boom's designed is, depending on how high it is off the ground, would be your spacing. So all the tips are 20 inches apart. Okay. So you're 20, 20, 20, okay? And so your spray pattern's coming out. When you were coming back on the lawn, you wouldn't run the foam dropper on top of this because you'd be running the nozzle on top of it both directions. Yeah. So the outside of your spray pattern would hit your last foam marker drop. I got you. The, the, they call this an air injected nozzle. So it's very coarse uh, spray pattern. Um, you know, it's got a little check ball screen in there that stops them from dripping. But these AI tips, there's a hole on the side where the air gets sucked in and it causes a real coarse uh, spray pattern. So, you know, they're great for windy conditions or drift. There's only so many days a guy can go out and spray a lawn yeah. and it's raining or it's too windy. So you want to have the best tip you can. That's an advantage of having a boom is um, drift control. So that's one of the reasons we really like these tips. Yeah, and being, having that foam marking kit, I could see exactly where I'm getting next to the shrubs. You know, cause like I said, you don't want to get on the shrubs, obviously, but you get, I can't be four foot off the shrubs because right. I'm going to be filled with weeds in that right. area. So yep. anyway, that's it makes exactly sense. Right. And they're breakaway, so if you run into something, they'll just trigger in and out. Can you tell me about the, the hose reel? Because I, my understanding is, again, uh, not all yards are flat. You got landscaping, you got hilly areas. So if I need to get in a tight space and I can't get a machine in there, I'm assuming that's what the hose reel's for? Yeah, exactly. So gated lawns, this machine being 52 inches wide, if you did have a small backyard that you couldn't get into, uh, what a lot of customers will do is they'll keep a little Scott's hand grinder or a little hand grinder uh, spreader and they'll keep it in the, on the machine. They'll get up to that gate, they'll dip out of the hopper, spread that little area, yeah. get the granular done. Then they can take their hose reel, it's 75 feet, and they can pull this into the backyard and get it taken care of. So also, like you said, hillsides, real steep hill, instead of risking putting the thing in a lake, you know, put the parking brake yeah. on and drag your hose out. So a lot of nice times that the, the hose reel comes in handy. Is it, how does it calibrate with the machine? Like as far as, so, you know, cause I want to spray the same as the machine is spraying if yep. possible. Great question. We've got some good videos on the Z-Turf equipment website uh, that kind of help you with that. But the thing that customer needs to remember is you've mixed your tank for a third of a gallon per thousand. So a gallon of water is gonna cover 3,000 square feet. You need to try and mimic that with your uh, with gotcha. your gun. So one easy way to kind of spot check yourself is if you spray on some asphalt, you can see what your liquid coverage is. Then you need to try and mimic that with your gun. Okay. If you walk around the yard and spray straight down, you're over applying. You probably end up having a lot of little yeah. brown spots. Yeah, but so, it, yeah, it's pulling from the same tanks that the the, the beam is as well. It the sure boom, is. I'm sorry, the boom. Yep, it sure is. And now a guy uh, in the south may decide to do a gallon per thousand or two gallons per thousand he may have pre-emergent mixed in fungicide and all that well then that's then that's different you may have to go slower you can change these tips as well you yeah. can put any size tip uh, we'll have guys put a JD 9 gun on the end or a Kimlon gun uh, you can change it out to really whatever uh, that uh, part of the country likes to use I got gotcha. you all right we're gonna move on one more machine so this is called our Z Airy um, this is our biggest model they call it the 4640 46 inches wide with a 40 inch aeration width. It's split drum, which allows the head to turn while you're aerating. So you can turn about 30 degrees uh, left and right while the head's down and aerate before you lift it up. But uh, a lot of downforce. These weights are 105 pounds a piece. So you've got the weights, plus when the cylinder goes down, 
it's going to pick the front tire up off the ground. So. Um, 40 inch air wick aeration as well. So, and this, I'm assuming, again, I'm from the south, so we don't do a lot of aerating and overseeding, but that you put your, that's your seed box basically? Yes, you could put seed in here, starter fertilizer, have one machine go out and, uh, you know, aerate, overseed, spread your starter fertilizer and get it all done. Is that, is that over with now? In, uh, filming this uh, late October. Are people pretty much done with that? Or Depending that on where you're at, uh, I know, um, you know, once ground temperatures start getting above 56, we don't get germination. So at some point, um, guys will start backing off on putting seed down. It just depends and you never know. I mean, there's been times when in Indiana, I've been mowing all the way up to Christmas. Other times you had yeah. snow in at Halloween. Yeah. So um, you just, you don't know. Um, one of the things that makes this machine real efficient, again, it'll fit in a four foot gate, but you're raising and lowering your head just with these buttons. So right raise, left lower, and you're all hydrostatic. Uh, it'll go eight and a half miles an hour. Um, and uh, so uh, it gets a lot of work done. We, we would say you could do about two acres in an hour of uh, production with this. And you're typically plugging and, and seeding at the same time. I mean, it, will it throw, it'll do both simultaneously if you're it, coordinated It will enough. do both. A lot of people will just aerate. They may not put seed down. Uh, sometimes the landscaper might sell uh, to the customer. They've got a thin lawn. They may uh, want to start trying to introduce some turf type tall fescue. So they may do that. So. Uh, but a lot of times it is just an aeration. Um, but what is nice about this machine is we've got a spray system available for it. We've got a deep thatch rake and we have a slice seeder. All those attachments will switch out without using any tools. And we do have some videos on that Z Turf equipment website where uh, we show the change out of the, from the aerator to the slice seeder to the deep thatch rake. All right, guys, I told you Andy knew his stuff. I like the, when I get with these product reps, I like to just try to ask them stuff because hear them spout off the data because they, they, they really do know their uh, information. But for, for you, for the audience, mostly getting exposure to the equipment, again, it's, it's about what's going to be a fit for you and your business, uh, what makes sense for what you're trying to accomplish. So appreciate you watching. Jason Creel, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.